Hi everyone, I'm Angela Fair. I'm just going to be painting uh, just a little live video for you today, uh, a sky scene that I really like. And uh, I want to tell you as I'm doing that a story, uh, a little something that's been going on in my Facebook community that I wanted to share with you. Uh, so we're going to go into that. Uh, before we start, I want to show you, uh, just going to click over to my reference photo that I'm working with. I wanted to <laughs> um, post it alongside of, whoops, that's the wrong one. Um, glad I don't have to paint that. Um, sitting in my car, uh, often I take a lot of photos through the windshield because we have the most amazing skies here in northern British Columbia. So I managed to capture this uh, wonderful rain cloud and um, in fact, I think there was an even better version. Oh, this is the one. Uh, there we go. As, as we were driving, we had a really rainy summer and I'm thankful for that because I live in a wildfire area. Um, of British Columbia and we do get forest fires and so I've been thinking a lot about Australia and uh, that's kind of prompting my painting today. Let's just move over to my work surface and um, if you're joining me I do have a link in the description below the video for you to download this reference photo. It's not the greatest photo and I actually really like working from less than perfect photos because it gives me a little bit of freedom to kind of improvise and do things in my own way. So um, in my Facebook community over the last few days, we've been talking about Australia. I think the whole world is talking about Australia right now and all the, um, the fear and the uh, trauma that being in an area struck by wildfire is. And, and it's a really helpless feeling. That's just, we're using some palette dirt to make this big first cloud across the page and I'm being loosely inspired by my reference photo. If you don't have, if you like to clean your palette and you don't have palette dirt, uh, you can use a combination. I've got violet in my mixture. I've got a little bit of blue and I've got a little bit of orange as well, or an orangey brown would do the same thing. Um, anyhow, in uh, social media, we've been talking about uh, the forest fires in Australia. I think they call them bushfires there. And uh, it's very easy to feel helpless when, when the world is on fire. Uh, and, you know, we can't make rain happen. Uh, but one thing we can do is we can pray for Australia. We can send our thoughts and intentions and direct our prayers um, to the one who can send the rain. And in my Facebook group, it's called Angela Fair Watercolor Workshop, one of our students from... New Zealand and she gets uh, Mila she gets the smoke um, drifting over into New Zealand from Australia and so she's really thinking about Australia quite a lot um, let's do some orange um, Mars orange is a really great color for our landscape I'm just gonna drag it right across whenever I think of Australia I think of um, red dirt so this is a great color for that and, um, and Mila gets that smoke every day and she was saying, I'm not very good at painting and telling a story, um, but she found another artist um, who suggested that we paint rain for Australia. And as we paint, we can think about um, their plight, we can pray for them. Uh, if you pray and send our, our thoughts toward them, let Australia know that we love and care about their situation. Um, this is really um, doesn't feel like doing much. Um, but it's taking that moment to um, to just stand together with them. And uh, what happened as Mila shared that in our in our Facebook community and other artists started to post their paintings um, was really amazing. The, the sense of community and concern it brought, um, the love that that was um, just felt uh, by our Australian members in the group. And, uh, you know, my, my Facebook group there is, is over 10,000 members. So there's uh, a lot of a lot of people from all over the world in there and um, it just felt like something really special was happening and we wanted to bring that outside of our Facebook group and, and start to share it with everyone else too. So on Instagram um, we've started using the hashtag paint rain for Australia and if you take the time to paint and think about Australia and pray for them, pray for rain for their country, um, for that entire continent, um, you can post your art and and share in that movement. Uh, right now, I'm just, you know, taking that time, and it's only a few minutes. Um, it only takes a few minutes to put a few strokes down on a piece of paper, 
and uh, we know that watercolor is very therapeutic. I'm going to let some color flow here on the up towards the top of the page. That can always be a risky thing because as it starts to dry you can often see um, blooms start to happen. Um, watercolor is very therapeutic for me, you know, it, it, it's a way of kind of calming down and being more intentional in my life. Let's add some indigo to that big cloud. Let's make it look like it's really ready to rain down. It's not raining yet, is it? It's just kind of up there, promising rain and not delivering. And um, that indigo is going to make it feel, feel ready to blow. And um, there we go. So when I use, I, I use watercolor as a way of, of kind of reflecting on the world. And it's really special to be able to paint and share that with others. To, uh, oops, to see others um, connect to the things that I think are special and meaningful and worth savoring. We're going to start pulling this rain down here. And um, if you're in Australia and it's raining for you right now, then let us know in the comments below. Oh, we'll know this is working uh, but we and I had someone comment on my Instagram page and say well, you know that's not enough we have to do things to make change happen and truthfully there's nothing I can do to uh, to stop a wildfire uh, I can donate money I can um, think about my impact on the planet um, but that's not going to put a fire out today and so really um, we do have to kind of live with this idea of this powerless feeling and, and figuring out what to do with that. And for me, uh, as a person of, uh, I want to be a person of faith who believes in the power of prayer. I want to be watchful for those answers to prayer and, and believe that my prayers make things happen. Um, my clouds are starting to flow. I've added water now throughout the whole top of the page. There's a few little white gaps here. And, um, so we're getting that feeling of rain, which is pretty fun. And as it starts to, because I've used a lot of water, it's really not as dark as, um, as it seemed like it was going to be when I put that first stroke of indigo down. I'm just going to pause and kind of study the, study the paint and let it move. Um, we can talk about... Well, I don't know. Australia is very far away from where I live. And, uh, you know, I can't be personally, physically involved. And um, I am very proud of the firefighters from Canada who are in Australia right now, um, you know, lending a hand. We uh, here in British Columbia see uh, when, when we have a bad wildfire, wildfire season, we see um, helpers coming from all over the world. And it's so amazing to see other countries lend their support. Uh, so that's that's something that I think we we do get to see is the the power of humanity to um, to share and support each other in those times of need. And it's I think that's something that really touches hearts all over the world. Um, I think that was what made it so exciting when when Mila talked about let's let's paint rain for Australia is that idea of that we can unite together under. Um, this umbrella of concern for another country and people and uh, be connected in that. I have a blog post where I've written about this topic a little bit more about this whole idea of painting rain for Australia and the link to that is in the description below the video. Uh, we're going to put a little bit more of this beautiful violet underneath uh, on the landscape because I like that feeling of shadow on the land. If there's rain and clouds, there's going to be some shadow. So we want to put that in. And I'm using manganese violet from Schmincke. I've also included links on my blog uh, at angelafair.com for you if you'd like to donate. Um, I, I'm not running any fundraisers myself. Uh, no, I'd rather direct you to uh, registered nonprofits uh, that are working in Australia or um, all over the world and have initiatives uh, to support um, wildfire relief in Australia and uh, it's pretty cool because you can support um, the actual firefighter 
firefighters who are working in Australia um, through their organizations. Um, of course, the Red Cross uh, works with uh, displaced people, uh, a number of other charities. Uh, are listed there, and there's also uh, wild uh, wildlife relief um, missions as well. So all of that is on my blog at angelafair.com. And again, there's a link in the description below the video. Look at how that violet gives us that feeling, again, of that rain coming down. And let's make it really rain. Let's do one big bold stroke of whooshing color, and we'll tilt the board quite a bit. Really, with painting clouds, there's it's so beautiful. Look at that rain come down. Uh, to to you get something different every single time. And we get to work with the water and see it do its magic. You know, there's an element of watercolor that we can't control, <laughs> just like we can't control the weather. We make it our goal to work along with it and trust that we will get what we need. I love that really dark line that's happening there. It's like the whole sky is just pouring down onto, onto the land. Uh, this is my favorite. I've done about three Paint Rain for Australia paintings so far, and I think this is my favorite of the, of the bunch. And. Um, And as I paint, I get to I get to care and take the time out of my day. And I think that's um, that's something that we want to do because social media is uh, we get we get in this habit of scrolling, <laughs> scrolling through our feeds, and we see um, we see stuff and we scroll on to the next thing and it just whizzes past and you know in a split second and uh, it doesn't really sink in. So I love that watercolor uh, and painting help me to be more intentional and to pause. And when I'm pausing, not just for myself and for my own creative therapy, but also to reach out to others and to uh, pray for them, to think about their situation, uh, it helps me to be more intentional in my day. Uh, it helps me to love others. Uh, maybe from there, I'll walk away from the studio and you know, my heart is full of thoughts about um, you know, what I've painted and who I've been thinking about and praying for. And I can then uh, be prompted maybe to act even further, uh, maybe to send an email to that friend or um, someone I know who's in, in the situation that's struggling. Um, maybe it's to give, um, give some time, give some money. Um, and, and so we take that time and, and it, and it matters. It makes a difference. We have to believe that one person's small action make a difference in the world. And, um, we believe that we, we move towards that uh, and we take ownership of it and so I want to encourage you to do that if you're painting and thinking of Australia praying for Australia this week uh, do post your painting on social media with the hashtag paint rain for Australia you can tag me as well I'm on Instagram I'm angel fair on Instagram uh, I'm on Facebook uh, track me down tag me and uh, I'll try to share it as well and uh, let's let Australia know we care uh, I know we're going to want to just do this for anyone, any, anyone that's struggling. Uh, you know, we, we have uh, issues and things we care about all over the world. This is just one thing, um, but it's one small thing that we can do uh, and think about. So thank you for joining me. And um, thank you for your also your chat in the comments. I was busy painting today, so I didn't get to answer your questions. Um, but we'll, <laughs> uh, we'll talk again. I'll be back. And uh, I'm going to wrap this up for now. Uh, bye for now.